5 HTP and depression. Does it work? Is it safe? And does it have any side effects? Hey gang, I'm Joe Cannon from supplementclarity.com. Today I want to talk about 5 HTP, better known as 5 hydroxytryptophan, specifically focusing on the research involving its anti depression effects. And I also want to delve into some, some things to think about, as well as a potential side effect that many people have not heard of, but yet is of historical value in the annals of dietary supplement history. And it is worth bringing it up because I don't see anybody talking about it this, these days. So um, I will do that. So before we go any further, let me just jump right into uh, the research on 5-HTP and depression. All right. So as I said, 5-hydroxytryptophan is a substance that we make from the amino acid tryptophan. So when you eat tryptophan-containing foods uh, like turkey at Thanksgiving dinner um, or tryptophan dietary supplements, it increases the production of 5-hydroxytryptophan and this increases serotonin levels. Now, serotonin does a variety of things in the body. For instance, at uh, Thanksgiving, we like to talk about how we go into food coma from all the tryptophan in the turkey because it raises serotonin levels and serotonin can make us tired and sleepy because it has a serenity effect in the body. Get it? Serotonin, serenity. Well, serotonin does a variety of things, uh, and it, one of the things it can do is help alleviate our uh, mood. So I will see uh, tryptophan as well as 5-hydroxytryptophan in supplements for yeah, depression, anti-anxiety, insomnia supplements, and even weight loss uh, products as well because serotonin can even have an effect on appetite. So in this video, I want to focus just on the depression research um, and let's leave uh, the weight loss and sleep stuff alone and just talk about depression. So right now, here's a study that I uncovered on 5-hydroxytryptophan and depression. Comparative study of efficacy of 5-hydroxytryptophan and Prozac in patients presenting their first depressive episodes. So these are people who are fairly new to depression and the researchers broke them up into two groups. One group got Prozac, one group got 5-hydroxytryptophan and what did they find? Both 5-hydroxytryptophan as well as Prozac appeared to work fairly similar to each other. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Prozac's a pretty powerful medication. Um, one thing I did notice with this particular study is I did not see a placebo group. That would have been nice to see. So that could be a potential weakness of this particular investigation. But nonetheless, there are studies out there that do find that 5-HTP can alleviate mood and be of help to people suffering from depression. Here is another investigation going back several decades in 1978, clinical evaluation of 5-hydroxytryptophan as an antidepressant drug. Again, they took uh, people and they gave them between 150 to 300 milligrams for three weeks. And what did they notice? Uh, most of the people started to feel better. Many of them started to feel better uh, depression-wise after about a week of treatment treatment. Uh, again, one possible weakness of this is I didn't see a placebo group listed. Um, again, I, that, that could be a possible uh, detriment. And again, I didn't also see the word significant in this particular study. I see markedly improved. I, I personally like to see p-values and significant Again, um, people are feeling better. I'm very happy about that. Uh, but I, I wanted to bring this out because there was research showing that 5-HTP uh, may actually help depression. But I, I really also want to do this uh, particular video because 5-hydroxytryptophan and specifically tryptophan are kind of unique in the world of dietary supplements from a historical uh, standpoint because back in the late 1980s, there was an outbreak of a rare medical condition called eosinophilia myalgia syndrome. And one of the things that people notice with this is there's a rise in the blood of blood cells called eosinophils. Now, you may think, well, okay, what's that got to do with anything? Well, eosinophilia myalgia syndrome has some pretty significant side effects, uh, including, again, swelling of the arms and legs and the face. You're having trouble breathing. You have debil debilitating muscle pain. Your hair falls out. Um, that all sounds pretty scary, but this is actually pretty darn scary because when this happened in the country, um, there were over 1,500 people affected with eosinophilia myalgia syndrome, and over 30 of them died. Okay, so here's something uh, from the CDC back in the late 1980s, and they are calling attention to tryptophan, the dietary supplement tryptophan, which appears to have been the cause of this eosinophilia myalgia syndrome outbreak in the late 1980s. It appears that the tryptophan dietary supplement 
was genetically modified and came from a single company based in Japan. Uh, at one point after this uh, happened, tryptophan was actually pulled from the US market. You weren't even allowed to buy it for a while. Um, you are now, it's now allowed back in the market. And I do see it sold in health food stores. Um, but again, because of the seriousness of EMS and because no one really seems to talk about it anymore, I wanted to call your attention to this because again, death is pretty darn serious. Now, even though it is considered a rare side effect, um, I think it is worthy of mention. Now, as I said, what caused the EMS would appear to be that tryptophan dietary supplement. Um, what actually was the cause of it? It was an impurity, it was said. It was said to be a genetically modified batch of tryptophan. To my knowledge, to this day, I don't get a good argument one way or another what was the actual cause. It is a bit of a mystery to this day what actually caused this syndrome. And there are people living right now who are still dealing with the aftermath of eosinophilomyalgia syndrome. Um, and so because of that and seriousness, I think it's worth bringing this up. And the other reason I wanted to talk about this is it really, we're talking about 5-hydroxytryptophan here. Well, 5-hydroxytryptophan comes from tryptophan. Here is a study from uh, the 1990s, which noted that there was an EMS-like uh, syndrome that popped up in a family after taking 5-hydroxytryptophan dietary supplements. Um, again, it's just a report of a family. It's a small number of people. Um, again, I, I don't hear a lot about EMS and tryptophan or 5-hydroxytryptophan anymore, which makes me think we probably have um, you know, closed the case on this. But because a lot of dietary supplements are made outside the country these days, uh, most of them are uh, made in other countries like China, for instance, um, again, my spidey sense tingles when I see tryptophan and 5-hydroxytryptophan and, and, and sold as dietary supplements because I'm old enough to remember uh, when this actually happened. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I also remember is when this happened is there were actually you, you, there was actually petitions that you could sign at health food stores when you would go and get your vitamins. They would ask you to sign a petition that would say stop the government from regulating your vitamins. That's how serious this this issue was. Uh, again, this all ended in the creation of what's called the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act, uh, which again, which has been around since 1990s. If you want to read that act, uh, just Google five letters D S H. E A D S H E A, and that'll take you to the law. So when people say dietary supplements are not regulated, yeah, they are. And if you go to D S H E A in any search engine, that'll take you to the actual law. And that law is born out of this particular phenomenon that occurred in nine, in the late 1980s. Um, so, is is 500 tryptophan safe? Well. I, I'll be honest with you guys, I, I can't say either way. I mean, I do see it in dietary supplements. Best I can say for you is this. Um, even though I don't hear a lot about EMS anymore, um, I think you, it is best that you, again, talk to your doctor about uh, this. If you're considered taking this for depression or weight loss or whatever, and you know, say, hey, doctor, what do you think about you know tryptophan or 5-hydroxytryptophan? I know there was this outbreak in the late 1980s of a rare, rare disorder where several people died. What do you think about this? And do you have any companies that you would recommend I get this stuff from? Because sometimes Sometimes doctors do know about dietary supplement companies and there are companies they believe in and they trust. Um, and I know there are good companies out there because there are companies that I like. Um, but I think it's always best to talk to your healthcare provider about this because again, EMS is pretty serious stuff. Um, I also recommend, regardless of what supplement you're talking about, whatever they recommend, start with less for the first week to see how you respond. That's gonna give you an idea of what kind of side effects you might experience. Um, I also think it, it's really good to stop uh, dietary supplement use uh, at least two weeks before having surgery. I think it's good across the board, but in particular with this particular product, I think it's good as well because, again, it's possible that the serotonin uh, elevated by this product might interfere perhaps with uh, anesthesia. And so again, I want to get out of your, symptom as, your system as much as I possibly can before you actually have surgery. Again, your doctor or pharmacist will have more information on this particular issue. Again, you're pregnant, you're breastfeeding. There's not a lot of research on pregnant nursing moms. So again, I wouldn't take it if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. If you have any heart or blood pressure problems, it's always good to talk to your doctor and pharmacist about uh, 5-HTP. And one of the reasons is that it is a possibility that uh, 5-HTP or, and or tryptophan might interfere with antidepressant medications you may be taking. And this could, it could cause a rise in serotonin that could actually be more, more higher than you'd like. And this is actually called serotonin syndrome, where serotonin goes so high, it actually spikes your blood pressure 
temperature uh, to very dangerous levels. And, and so that can be a problem. So again, it's another thing to bring up to your doctor um, if you're thinking about 5-hydroxytryptophan or tryptophan dietary supplements for that matter. Again, it is possible that 5-HTP may be in other supplements you're taking, weight loss supplements. Sometimes uh, I see it also in these brain-enhancing supplements as well. They're called sometimes called nootropics. Uh, and again, could there be an interaction between them? It's possible. And so I would exercise caution with combining a lot of these supplements together. There's not a lot, of, not a lot known with supplement-supplement interactions. And that's why I, I'm always admittedly cautious when it comes to taking uh, a bunch of supplements together like that. Uh, if you've ever had rhabdomyolysis, I would be cautious of 5-hydroxytryptophan. What the heck is rhabdo or rhabdomyolysis? Well, if you know me, uh, you know that I'm probably the top expert in the country on rhabdo, uh, especially as it pertains to exercise, and I will take any opportunity I can to work rhabdo into the conversation because so many people have never heard of it. Uh, rhabdo is essentially muscle fiber death. It can, it can, it can uh, result from too much exercise, but there are also some medications that can cause rhabdo as well, and there is even a report of 5-hydroxytryptophan causing rhabdo. Rhabdo is serious, and if you don't know about it, just drop me a comment, and I'll leave you some information that I have previously written on rhabdo. I wrote the first book in history on exercise and rhabdomyolysis, uh, and I have a lot to say on this, but I'm going to leave this go for right now, and basically also just say if you have any kind of, uh, again, issues like bipolar or schizophrenia, etc., it's possible, again, that 5-hydroxytryptophan may negatively interact with those issues again. So if you have any problems, again, it's always good to talk to your doctor for specific information for you. And again, so does 5-hydroxytryptophan work for depression? It's possible. There is research out there. I still think caution is something to keep in the back of your mind before you try this particular product. Um, and that's really all I got for you guys. I really want to give you some information you're not going to hear anywhere else. And I hope I did. If you have any questions about tryptophan or 5-hydroxytryptophan, leave a comment below and I'll help you myself. Take care guys. I'm Joe Cannon. Have yourself a great day.